Chan, nice to see you. Hey, Sarah, nice to see you as well. Thanks for having me today. You're welcome. So, so sales and margins looks like came in better. What was the big surprise that, that caused the improvement this past quarter? You know, a, a great day for the team here on campus. Um, our Q3 results beat our expectations on the top line and the bottom line, to your point. Um, Abercrombie's momentum is terrific, 500 basis points better than last quarter. We saw a nice improvement in Hollister as well. In fact, it's even given us the confidence to raise our outlook. The consumer's responding so nicely to our product. The weather turning has been very helpful, seeing great response to our mm. cold weather categories. Lots of exciting things happening. And it sounds like you expect the improvement to continue into the holidays. As you said, you raised guidance. How, how do you how should we look at that in the context of some of the other warnings we've gotten from other retailers, including I'm thinking Target, especially warning on the, the big slowdown in consumer spending, especially on discretionary items like apparel? So we're seeing an interesting thing from our consumer. We're actually seeing a little bit of a bifurcation from our consumer. Our Abercrombie brand, our adult brand, the consumer is not feeling as pressured as our, as our Hollister consumer is. But when we had our, you know, a little step back during back to school, we got very close to our customer. We really understood what they were looking for. We were able to shift our receipts to make sure we leaned into the categories that they were looking for. And additionally, we also were able to reduce our receipts relative to trends. We feel our inventories are really in line and ready to go for, for the last quarter. Yeah, and the analysts were, were happy about the healthy inventories. So, friend, what does it mean for pricing? Everybody's talking about how this holiday is going to, every holiday is promotional. But this one is going to be even more promotional because all that inventory needs to clear out and the supply chain is finally improving. What, what does that look like for you? You know, it's interesting, sir. <laughs> right? I mean, inventory has been such a topic all year. And the real question that you have to ask is, what is the value and the content of that inventory and how current is that inventory? And our inventory is current. It's 92% current. We are very pleased with the way and healthy that it is by brand, by gender, by category. So the real issue is what is the content of that inventory? We've cleared through these things all year that haven't been working and we are well positioned as we're heading into the fourth quarter. What, one other thing I, I sort of jotted down that I heard you say on the call today was that you are a net store opener for the first time in a decade. And, and it just strikes me that, remember the death of the mall? How many malls are you guys in in, in America? And what has happened to mall traffic post-COVID? Is it back? I'm so glad you brought this up. So stores matter. I say it all the time. In order to be a successful omnichannel retailer, you've got to have stores. The stores and the digital combination make the magic that we're all looking for. We are a net store opener, first time in 10 years, uh, 60 stores that we're going to open this year. In fact, last weekend I was in Roosevelt <laughs> Field taking a look at our four new stores that we're opening, all new concepts and um, fresh stores in one of the most important malls in the country. So um, we have said consistently stores matter and our customers back out shopping in them. What about Hollister? That's the one that, that obviously is lagging and, and investors are looking for more progress on. What is the plan to turn things around there? Sure. So we did make progress. We saw a sequential improvement, you know, from heading from the second quarter to the third quarter. We do see that consumer being a little bit more pressured than the Abercrombie consumer from a spending perspective. Inflation is definitely more challenging for them. You know, last year they had a lot of money to spend coming off of stimulus, but we're focused on what we can control. We're controlling our inventory. We're leaning into the categories that are working, and we expect to see continued improvement quarter over quarter.